We're recording! I'm home alone for the cooking show. Ian's here virtually. How you doing? And today, I'm gonna make peanut butter and jelly, but not just a sandwich, we're making peanut butter and jelly cookies. The idea of the peanut butter and jelly cookie is that you're gonna put peanut butter into the actual cookie dough and then on the inside of the cookie, stuff it with the chunky peanut butter and jelly. I like chunky peanut butter. It has a little bit of texture to the inside. 10 of these little tablespoons. That's probably a little too big, but whatever. You can eyeball it. Not, I'm not being too precise with this. Into the freezer, all of these nice little chunks go. Look at my freezer. Like, there's, I think I can make some room here. Got some limoncello. Like, a lot of little nips and stuff over here because that's, why wouldn't you have all those? But look at this, buttery stock. I don't know why I have buttery stock, but I have buttery stock. So anyways, I'm gonna try to squeeze this in over here. All right, ice cream. This one's like an ice cream break. This is good. <laughs> the credits need to stay. <laughs> Camera one, Faraday's sat again. Camera two, Faraday's sat again. Camera three, Faraday's sat again. Lighting. Faraday sat again. Star, Faraday sat again. <laughs> Culinary director, Faraday sat again. Producer, Faraday sat again. Okay, oh, co producer. Whatever. But if you found yourself to just only have creamy peanut butter and you did want to put some chunky peanut butter in there, but you don't want to buy chunky peanut butter, chop up some peanuts and mix it into your creamy peanut butter. And look, now we also even have some snacking peanut butter. And snacking peanut butter is really good with. Ritz crackers. I bought these on like a whim the other day, and this is just gonna be the best. Wait, who buys a single sleeve? That's all they were selling. It's a bodega. Then about peanut butter. Now I can't talk. You could probably hear like the that gross like you know that peanut butter sound. It's that masticating sound. It's also the word masticate sounds suspiciously familiar to something else we all know that everyone's doing during isolation because they got nothing else to do. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. We're gonna make the cookie dough. One cup of creamy peanut butter. And I need also my butter, which I left my butter over by, I left it to soften in the sunlight. And then my butter, which is nice and soft, right in the sunlight. Look at that. Look at all my plants too. Ugh, they are beautiful. That's how you have to soften things, is in the old sunlight. Cause I don't have a microwave. Um, also you don't wanna melt melt your butter, you know? You just want it soft. So this is nice. It's soft, it just plopped right in there. Did you see that plop? Into here, we've got our creamy peanut butter, our sunlit softened butter. Ooh, I'm gonna start writing that into ingredients, into like recipes. Sunlit softened butter. We're gonna cream our butter and our peanut butter with two kinds of sugar. We're using brown sugar and granulated sugar. We need a little bit more snacking peanut butter. Mm. Mm-hmm. Can you guys hear me masticating? <laughs> just gonna cream this. Okay, so once upon a time, for you guys, I did a giant cookie bowl recipe, and I talk about the importance of creaming butter and why you use brown sugar versus granulated sugar. Roll that footage. Brown sugar has molasses in it, and it's going to give more moisture and make the cookies a little bit more fluffy, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm gonna add one egg at a time. That is a fucking large egg yolk. Do you see how big that egg yolk is? Okay, eggs one at a time. Let it incorporate. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla in here. I'm not measuring it. I, you should, but it's like a teaspoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. A drop more for good measure. <laughs> it's kind of beautiful. Look at like the, look at the, look at this. Time out. Look at the beautiful like, It's so pretty. Like, that's so crazy. I don't know, I'm not even high, but I wish I was. <laughs> right, baking soda. Give it a little swirl. Oops. Just like that. A swirly do? Swirly do, I know, that's what I, that's my word. Swirly do in there. Okay. Ah, done. Sicily. It's like a very soft dough right now, right? It's beautiful. So one time when I was making this, I left it in the fridge and it hardened up a lot. Also, since I didn't cover it, it like dried out. And so I was trying to roll the balls 
And I tell you what, rolling balls dry, you need it. You need that lube, okay? It was really difficult to do. Yep, I said it, I said it, I went there. This is a masticating, ball rolling, kneading lube show today. It's better to roll it while it's still soft is my point. This is cookie dough right here. Like you can eat this and go for it. If I can cook it like that, away you go. It's delicious. Also, it tastes really good right now, just as it is. Mm. Mm -mm. And also, I'm not gonna get salmonella, okay? Don't be a little bitch. <laughs> We're gonna roll our balls now, okay? Clean hands. Um, it's far easier to do this. We're gonna roll about 10. You remember I made the cookie chunks, the I made the chunky peanut butter, 10 balls. So we're gonna make 10 balls of these too. These need to be quite big because you're filling it with peanut butter and jelly. I usually roll the balls out and freeze them uncooked and then I can just bake cookies whenever I want, like single cookies or whatever. If my oven's on, I'm like, might as well throw a cookie in there. That's really smart. It is really smart. That's why I'm the culinary director. So our balls are rolled. These are ready to go. Our jelly, these are balls of cookie dough above my buttery stock. And then these are cookie dough. Look at it, cookie dough everywhere. And yeah, I do like big balls, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna regret that. And here is our frozen chunky peanut butter. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this. We got our beautiful balls. I'm so artistic, look at my, I'm gonna go a little slower. I'm gonna do a little patty, a little patty cake just like this. And then we're gonna do like a little, like a half a teaspoon maybe of jelly. This is strawberry jelly. So you can use grape jelly. You can use any jelly you prefer. I really like the strawberry with this. So add that there. See that nice and frozen so it's good. And then we're just gonna like fold it around it. I know it's weird and it's gonna break everywhere. Like it's gonna break and that's totally fine. Because what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go like this and you're just sealing it back up. Roll your balls again. And it's fine. Like I actually really love it when like I bake these sometimes and the peanut butter and the jelly kind of like break through the surface, I don't know. It's fine, like rustic, whatever. Like this is not a big deal. So I think that putting the jelly on the bottom, the thing is like the peanut butter kind of holds it in. If you put the jelly on top, it kind of just drips everywhere because I don't know, it's jelly. What's the difference between jelly and jam? <laughs> I can't say this joke on YouTube. I can't jelly my every time. <laughs> We're ready to bake, it made 10, so what I'm gonna do is spread these out over two baking sheets. Everyone usually has peanut butter and jelly. This is a great quarantine recipe, I think. It's a great, I mean, this is a great recipe in general. Bake them 375, I think it's like 18 minutes. I'm gonna rotate them halfway through. All right, see what these guys look like. Just like that. All right, these look fucking amazing. Look, they're perfect. Look at this. Oh goodness. Wow. Wow. I like to have them while they're still warm because you get that like gooey, chunky peanut butter from the middle. I love that crackle. Like that to me is kind of iconic. I mean, look, like I said, even like the, the thumb prettiness of the top of it is totally fine. I like that noise. Oh man, this is so good. I really, they're really good when they're hot like this. When they cool down, they're, so, they're just good. These are good cookies. Oh man. This is what comes from having, just looking in the pantry and being like, what do I have? A lot of peanut butter and jelly. I have so much jelly. Mmm. The crunchy peanut butter is so good. Like it has that nice hint of the jelly. The peanut butter, it's like the creamy peanut butter and the crunchy peanut butter adds good texture. You're getting all those like different layers. It's, this is better than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. These are so good. These are so not healthy. It's exactly what you want. Make these for your kids, make them with your kids, make them for yourself, freeze them, eat them hot, eat them cold, eat them all the time, cook munchies. Click below for the link. Make this the recipe. It is hot. Okay, ready? Here we go. Stacks on stacks, motherfuckers. 